Folks, welcome back to the Ranch Network. Welcome back. And today we got an awesome review for you right here. Check this out. Giang, <laughs> what is it? Well, it's a solar automatic watering system. We need something that's reliable, that's gonna get these plants watered so they can be nursed and they grow huge. And it's solar. It's so much better, guys, than having to water by hand every day, all the time, maybe morning and night once it gets super hot. This is gonna be the magic ticket right here. Let's get to it. All right. So your box will come with a solar controller, a water level sensor, a water filter, and 10 meters of tubing. You'll get 10 T-joints, 10 drip stakes, and a ground stake, and two screws. So the first thing we wanted to do was decide where we were gonna put this beautiful solar automatic watering system. And we decided on our cattle panel trellis. And our cattle panel trellis is really neat. It was all framed out. Will did a really good job of this, but that's not the point. The point is we still have to water things by hand over here. Now I went through, I got the hose and I started the first one here which was very easy to install. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I have some zip ties. And all I wanna do is just give it a little extra stability. All right, so to my next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and there is a nice bag of all of the parts that I need. And I'm just looking for this T. It looks like a little T as well. And what I want is this part to point down in the downward position. And then I'm gonna cut this hose so I have to go close to a post and I have to kind of stay on here on this line. I'm gonna cut it here. Yeah. I'm gonna add my T-post to my right side. Okay, and I'm going to add a piece of hose. I'll go a little long. The solar pump dispenses about eight ounces per minute. A five minute cycle will dispense about 40 ounces of water divided among the plant drip stakes. Be certain that your containers or trays are large enough to contain the program volume of water and water spillover will not cause damage to their surroundings. Okay, now we're gonna install the mounting bracket and I already marked off up here where it needs to go. Let me see, I made a little line. So we're gonna just screw it in to this two by four. I need a smile and a thumbs up. There's thumbs up. Ain't done yet. We're just getting warmed up. So I believe this is gonna be my out tube. This one that goes to all of these is going in the out. So that's your uh, the in your is the in bucket. Water feed. Yes, this is the in for the bucket we're gonna use or whatever water source you decide on. I could also attach my last piece here, this kind of pulls away from it. The sensor. For the sensor. Nice and tight and snug. Yep. Straight up, because we're going to get a lot of sun, folks. A lot. Okay. And now I just need to cut this to go towards my bucket. And we may want to take some of these and zip tie them. Yeah, we'll zip tie them. When we're together. ready for that. And I just got some window screen or door screen here. And I always have this on hand. Okay, so we want to put this down in here as our sensor. I think it just lays in here like right. so. Those are just laying in there. And like I said, those will uh, alert you. It, it'll alert the uh, solar control panel if this is uh, running low on water. Ah, my scissors. Oof. Okay, and then this one is gonna go all the way to the bottom. Right, and you, you wanna have extra on that. It needs to have about three or four inches extra on that. On the bottom? Yeah, Okay. For sure. Going on. Yeah, it's on the end tube right there. That's gonna take your, your water, send it up through the unit, and supply your plants. So there you go. And that's going in there. Now, we're gonna fill up this this um, bucket here. I'm gonna move my my things out of the way. Yeah, we, yeah, we might need a small rock or something in there to hold the, the end tube down so it doesn't float to the top. Now, do I have a sprayer here? Yes, I do have a sprayer here. But do I want to go out and spray all my plants? No, I do not. Why? Because Jenny likes to be a lazy gardener. Okay. 
All right, so the last thing I do is on my bucket of water with my filter and my hose, I just want to put a rock on here. So if we get rainwater in here, I'm not going to get seeds and grass clippings and leaves and who knows what else in here. It's going to stay nice. And then a rock so that when it does rain, it doesn't just all splatter off. It'll actually drip down in there and I'll get some, I'll get some rainwater. So we're turning the unit on. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Do we have any kinks? Do we have any wow. craziness happening? We really don't, do we? These are all working. It's working like it's supposed to. It's That's working awesome. working exactly as, and even on the end one. So this is the last one on the, on the row. So it's very exciting. I'm happy about this. Uh, it was, we were able to really kind of make it streamline and look nice as well. So it's aesthetically pleasing, which I like. It's so much better, guys, than having to water by hand every day, all the time, maybe morning and night once it gets super hot. So I don't have to use this anymore. I can use my solar automatic watering system, which literally is a five gallon bucket right here. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Folks, that was an awesome product review. Ji Yang Solar Automatic Watering System totally beats hand watering with a water pitcher. Yes, it's gonna save you time, effort, all those good things. And you know what? If you click down here, it's gonna save you some money as well. For under 50 bucks, you can have this right in your own backyard. It's awesome. We're excited and you guys need to get one. I mean, springtime is here. Don't delay, don't procrastinate. Go ahead and click down here, get yourself one today. And we love this product. With yeah. that being said, we're out of here. Yeah, we'll see you next time. And we hope you enjoy this product as much as we do.